Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. Today we are getting it all done. Our living space is a mess. I have to prep and restock some foods, fold laundry, clean, and do some self-care. I hope you find this video motivating as you start your week. So let's get into this. So I'm starting off by somewhat tidying my kitchen. Even though I will be making a little bit more of a mess in a bit, I find that I work better when the big things are cleared away and there aren't tons of dishes out in need of cleaning. That way, after I'm done with the task, I can just focus on cleaning up the items associated with that task and not have to worry about another looming mess. Once the kitchen was in a workable state, I prepped some yogurt popsicles for Aubrey. I got the silicone mold from Michael's and I just love it. I just fill each mold with whatever yogurt we were in the mood for and insert a cake pop stick and toss this in the freezer. Then whenever Aubrey's in the mood for a snack, she can go to the freezer and grab and enjoy one of these. I love how it encourages her to be self-sufficient and I don't have to worry about her eating super unhealthy. Next, we are going to cut up some bread that I made earlier in the day. This is actually my family's Polish Plotzek recipe, sans the raisins and streusel topping. I have found that bread machine white bread is often pretty flimsy and I wanted a more sturdy bread for sandwiches or French toast. Since I recently made Plotzek for my sister's birthday as part of her gift, I remembered that I really liked the texture of this bread and thought that it would definitely suit our sandwich needs. So we are just using our electric knife to slice up these loaves for use throughout the week. Time stops when I'm falling for you. Moving on, let's go ahead and restock our Lazy Susan with the bajillion teething and baby snacks Juan bought for Jack. I have to say Jack loves these teething crackers and just eating in general. Some days I think he actually eats more than Aubrey and I'm actually really surprised that he isn't more of a chunker.
So I had been meeting on dealing with this little pumpkin Aubrey and I got a long time ago. It's been sitting in our guest bathroom as decoration, but definitely isn't too pretty anymore. So I figured before I tossed it in our green waste, I would save some of the seeds to plant sometime in May for next fall. I think I got too late of a start this year, and that's why we really only got one large pumpkin, but I think it would be so cool to have like a little pumpkin patch for my family and friends next year, so hopefully these seeds will end up producing some cute little pumpkins for decorating next year. Okay, so by now the kids are in bed and I can finish tidying up the rest of the living space so it can be nice until the kids ruin it the following morning. We are going to wrap up this video by doing some self-care. I'd like to thank Oakleen for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent me this Sonic electric toothbrush. It comes with the base, a toothbrush attachment, and charging cable. There are five different modes to choose from, morning, evening, cleaning, whitening, and gentle mode. 
The toothbrush also has a two minute smart timer with an alarm to change the cleaning area every 30 seconds. The great thing about this toothbrush compared to some others is the battery life. After a full charge, which takes up to five hours, this toothbrush will work for up to half a year. This makes it great for traveling because you don't have a bulky charging base to haul around along with the toothbrush. This is the first electric toothbrush I've ever had and using it definitely made me feel like I got a dentist worthy clean. Again, I would like to thank Oclean for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I will place the link to this product down below in the description box if you want to give this toothbrush a try yourself. Now let's go ahead and finish with my self care. After watching me brush my hair and put it in my usual bun, I can't help but think that having long hair for me is pointless. I hate wearing it down because it usually makes me feel way too warm. And I'm always so tempted just to like buzz it off because I would probably look the same as when I have it slicked back in a ponytail, but it would be so much easier to maintain. But not having the option of wearing it down keeps me from making that drastic decision. If you have super short hair, do you find it actually takes more styling time than when you had it long? Because that would definitely keep me away from cutting my hair super short. Please let me know down below in the comments before I make a life-changing decision. Anyways, I decided to give myself a little pedicure and finish off the night by working on some editing in bed. If you are still watching, I would like to thank you for sticking around till the end. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.